Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing Arnold Schwarzenegger and Joel Kellett, who is probably the closest thing to Arnold physique-wise that we have ever seen. A lot of people have spoken about the rather glaring similarities between the two, so I thought it would be interesting to see just how similar they actually are. Now, it is important to mention that Joel does claim to be natural, whereas Arnold is, you know, of course, enhanced, so it won't necessarily be a comparison of who is the biggest or who is the best in terms of muscularity. Instead, I'll be focusing on the overall structural similarities and the muscular resemblance. Before the video does start, though, if you guys enjoy my content and would like to see more, liking and subscribing would really help out the channel. With that all being said, though, let's get into this video. Alright, starting off this comparison is the front double, and first off, I want to say that I don't have all the mandatory poses to show you, however, I do have a solid amount of them anyways. Now, this pose showcases the similarities that both have rather well, huge upper bodies with large arms and peaked biceps, thick pronounced chests, and similar midsections. Neither have a quote-unquote small waist, however, their arms and lats compensate for this. Looking at the legs, it is clear that both are superior in the upper halves, as the quads are sort of underdeveloped relative to their massive upper bodies. Structurally, the similarities continue to present themselves, you know, long limbs, wide rib cages, and near-identical muscle insertions. The side chest is where Arnold's genetics really differentiate himself from Joel, as you can see that his chest insertions are far better. That being said though, Joel has a really comparable amount of thickness and a relatively similar shape to the chest, and he carves a very classic looking outline. Both don't have extremely developed delts, having arms that do overshadow them, and possess almost the same amount of development in the side leg. I think that Joel really holds his own, showcasing great conditioning and a very comparable shape, However, Arnold really is in a league of his own. To be fair though, this might just be the closest we get to a modern day Arnold side chest. Here is a most muscular ab and thigh combo sort of pose, I don't know what to call it guys. Although they aren't hitting exactly the same pose, I chose these two pictures to highlight similarities in the chest, shoulders, arms, and midsection. You can see that Joel has similar chest insertions to Arnold from the front, along with some nice striations to go along with them, and presents imposing arm development that do overpower his shoulders like I said uh, in the last pose. Arnold's delts don't look all that bad though, looking rather proportional, however his arm is just as dominant in the shot as Joel's is. Moreover, both have near identical midsections, sharing the geometry of the abs and the size of the waist as well as similar quads from a structural standpoint. The rear double might just be the pose in which they share the most similarities thus far, as Joel presents a lower back region that rivals that of Arnold's Christmas tree. The traps, lats, arms, shape, and legs all look so structurally similar, even the hair looks identical. I wouldn't fault you if you saw Joel's picture with some sort of black and white filter and thought it was Arnold, because I definitely might even be tricked into it myself. Now, the similarities are very striking, I mean, even the proportions look one-to-one. -one. The only thing that Joel really needs to have for a fair comparison would be more size, however the shape and structure are both really there. This classic single bicep pose is another pose in which they both really look identical. Look at the peak in the insertion of the bicep along with the shape and sweep on the tricep, Joel is basically a carbon copy of Arnold. Chest looks basically the same in terms of shape, and both have flat and streamlined midsections. The only real difference that I can notice here is Joel's close arm, which looks a lot less full and a lot less, you know, round in comparison to Arnold, who has that rounded bicep and a better delt. That being said though, the overall silhouette when taking everything into account is super comparable, and it's kind of insane at how much Joel resembles Arnold. Here is a twisting rear double, and like the rear double, this might just be a one-to-one -one pose again. The arms look basically identical between the two, the lat and trap insertions are basically the same, both have very tight waistlines, and the leg development is very comparable. Of course, Joel is nowhere near the size of Arnold, and therefore does not appear as wide through the lats and torso, however, he plays the part to perfection in terms of the silhouette that he carves and the general presentation that he has. The Mantis pose is one of my personal favorite poses for Arnold, and here I think Joel is doing some real justice to the pose. He has that super full and dominant far bicep, great full tricep on the near arm, thick strided chest, and that structure really helps him nail the pose. Once again, Joel knocks this one out of the park, you know, in the execution of the pose, as well as, the, you know, hitting the genetic lottery for that matter as well, as he basically looks like a Arnold 2.0. 
Obviously, Arnold has so much more thickness in the chest and arms, and his conditioning is obviously superior as well. However, Joel really does hold his own in this pose. The last pose of this comparison might just be the most famous pose in bodybuilding, and that is the three quarters twisting rear double. This might just be the least accurate recreation on Joel's part, as he almost is going at a one half of a twist rather than at a three fourths. That aside, he still shows off those mountainous bicep peaks like Arnold, great triceps, and similar leg development. I do wish that he hit the pose in a more proper fashion. However, it is undeniable that he still clearly showcases a lot of genetic similarities with Arnold. Well guys, that about does it for this video. In summary, I think that Joel really does remind me of a modern day Arnold in almost every aspect. Structure, muscle insertions, posing execution, and even composure on stage. You've got to check out one of his posing routines or see him on stage to really understand the last part that I mentioned, as he basically exudes confidence in a similar way to Arnold. Both have taller structures and longer limbs, which allows them to outsize their competition. Anyways guys, let me know down below if you think that Joel is the new age or modern Arnold, and also let me know down below if there are any other comparisons that you would like to see me do. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.